Well, a company here in Eastern Carolina has come through for a family whose son has a rare eye condition and needs surgery. And the surgery for keratoconus isn't FDA approved, so insurance won't cover the cost. Now, earlier this month, we told you how Montel Williams arranged for a California doctor to do that surgery for free. But the Deus family of Camp Lejeune needed $10,000 to get there. And today, their prayers were answered. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Strangers hugging for the first time. Strangers handing Billy Dace and her family of Jacksonville a check to help their 15-year-old son, John, get much-needed eye surgery in California. I got a call on Monday from Rachel at WITN, and she told me there was a tobacco company in Ada, North Carolina, that wanted to donate $7,500 to John's surgery. September 16th, our Rachel Carden featured their story and their need for $10,000 to get to California. At first, I thought maybe Rachel misspoke when she told me because I was like, wow, you know, that's a lot of money. Who would do a donation like that? The owners of the Good Stuff Tobacco Company and Aiden, Ron and Rose Bowen, that's who. It really didn't surprise me because they're just that kind of people and they like to help and they really have a soft spot for children. But then the Bowens changed their minds. Later that afternoon, I talked to Vicki and she said, you know what, the owner decided that he just wants to do the whole 10000 The Day's family had a GoFundMe account to accept donations, which started at $100 before our story and grew to just over $3,000 as of Thursday morning, thanks to the Marine Federal. But now they've exceeded that goal with this $10,000 check. I would have and been bored. I was blown away. I didn't know what to say. All I all I could keep saying was thank you over and over and over again. Well, I never knew that people would actually donate that much and care. I was really excited. Yeah, they walked in and just being the people that they are, um, they decided they just wanted to help John, um, and I'm glad of it. It's great. I like you know anybody that needs help and you see them get help. It's always a, you know a great thing to see. It was a very good day for them, and you may have noticed that the owners, Ron and Rose Bowen, were not there. Now we're told that they're out of town, but as for John Dace, he now has a surgery date scheduled, and of course, we'll keep you posted on his progress. That is so nice to see in a company stepping up like that. It's unbelievable. I know. Sp perfect strangers. Yeah. Don't even know each other. But Great that's job. Just how people care for one another.